we're about to start our book project and one of the first things that we have to do before we even get into the computer is we have to have the book that we want to use kind of for our dummy uh, it doesn't have to be the actual text that we are redesigning and actually since we're going to be doing fictional characters uh, or an autobiography on a fictional character uh, the book probably doesn't exist so you're going to find a, a a a book that you already have if you don't have a book with a dust jacket you can go to the library and, and check uh, a book out it's usually easier to do a book that already has a dust jacket uh, than it is to do one without I have my book I've picked a relatively small book I have a 15 inch ruler I have a little bit of a scrap sheet of paper here and a pen to write down some measurements so what we don't want to do when we get started we don't want to try to measure the book itself you're going to get inaccurate me measurements if you do that so what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually just go ahead and take the, the book jacket off and we're going to set the book off to the side here and you'll notice that hopefully you can notice this in in the part of the the screen that you can see that this is kind of kind of curling up and whatnot but with our ruler we'll be able to flatten that down and take measurements so i'm going to align this and what i want to do is i want to measure to basically the fold line on the existing uh, book cover so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure it to about this spot and it's a little hard to see on camera but there is a hard fold on my book jacket and that is about three and three quarter inch. So what I want to do is I want to mark that down. I'm going to write down flaps and I'm going to put down three and three quarters, which is 3.75. Next, we're going to come in and we're going to line up our ruler to that crease and we're going to measure to the next crease. And this one's a little bit harder to find. And I'm just going to mark on my ruler where I think it is. So that's five and let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sixteenths. So for this one, I don't know the decimal point for that. So I'm just gonna write down five and seven sixteenths on my sheet of paper. And that's gonna be for the cover. And then I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna measure the spine. And again, from crease to crease, that's about three quarters of an inch. So 0.75 for the spine. And that's all you have to do. You don't even have to measure the other side of the book. You just have to measure one half because the front cover and the back cover are of the same size and the inside flap and the outside flap are of the same size. And once you have that, then you can come in and you can just put your book jacket back on the book. And you're done. So once you have all those measurements done we're going to jump into InDesign and I'm going to show you how to set up your InDesign file so that you can start designing your book cover okay so now that I have my measurements we're going to dive into InDesign and create our book cover make sure you have a calculator at hand you're going to need that for a second not only to figure out your fractions but also to add a few things so what we want to do is we want to add up our measurements and basically we took three measurements if you remember we have our flaps our covers and our spine so the very first thing we need to figure out is what seven sixteenths of an inch is in in a decimal and it's a really easy way to do it we come to our calculator and we take seven and divide it into sixteen and 0.4375 is seven sixteenths so our covers are going to be five point four three seven five inches each and I need to multiply that by two I also need to multiply my flaps which was three point seven five by two and then finally add the three quarters of an inch for my spine so if we do that we're gonna take five point four three seven five times two equals 10.875 and we're going to write that one down we're going to clear our calculator and we're going to do 3.75 times 2 that's seven and a half seven point five and then what we're going to do and we're going to put 0.75 down there at the bottom 
we're going to add those three numbers together. So we're going to do 10.875 plus 7.5 plus 0.75. Now there's one measurement I forgot to take, and that's the height of the book or the height of the cover. So you want to make sure that you do that. And I didn't do that on camera, but I'm doing it off camera right now. And I'm seeing that it's seven and one quarter. So 7.25 is my height. So if we hit equal here, we'll get 19.125. That's going to be the width of our document. And then of course our height, which we just measured, or my particular book is going to be 7.25. Inches. Okay, we don't want to get rid of our piece of paper. We still have our piece of paper here, but we can come into InDesign and we're going to do Create New. And we're going to come over here into our new document window, and we're going to type in our width of 19.125 and our height of 7.25. Remember, facing pages needs to be unchecked. I only want one page. Uh, I'm not going to worry about my columns. Default that. And I want to set my margins to zero. And then I want to come down to my bleed. And if you don't see bleed, you need to click on bleed and slug. And we're just going to enter 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch all the way around. So with all that filled in, we have our size, width, and height. We set our margins to zero, and we set our bleed to one eighth of an inch. And we're just going to hit create. So this is the entire width of our book cover. So what we want to do next is we want to come up into our pages panel, and I want to come up here, and I want to double click on the A master. Remember, it shows you that you're working on the page if it is highlighted in blue, the text is white, and the page is highlighted in blue. That means we're on our master page and we're, about, we're going to work on that. I'm gonna go ahead and close this panel. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna come to my rulers on the side, and if you don't have rulers, you need to go up to view and come down to Right here where it says hide rulers on mine, it will say show rulers. It's also command R on a Mac and control R on a PC. And you're just going to show your rulers. And what we want to do is we want to click and hold on our leftmost ruler and then drag it out into our space. And you'll see that it actually draws out a, a, a guide. And we're going to come over and I'm not going to try to get it exact because I need it at three and three quarters. But I'm going to release it, and if you come right up into the upper left-hand corner, underneath InDesign, you'll see an X value, and we can change that, and we want to go 3.75 to move that guide right there, and that represents our inside, one of our flaps. Okay, so now remember I said we are, we're going to need the, the calculator again. So I'm going to come and find my calculator. I'll clear my calculator and I'm going to type in 3.75 plus 5.4375. So I'm adding the flap plus my one of my covers and I'm getting a measurement. And I'm going to come back into my InDesign file and I'm going to click in this left ruler again, click and then drag out and I'm just going to release it. I'm going to come up to my X value, and I'm going to type in 9.1875, hit enter. Okay, so this is lap, cover, and now we need the spine. So I'm going to take 9.1875, and I'm going to add 0.75, which is our spine. I'm going to come back. I'm going to again click in the leftmost ruler and drag a line over. And I'm going to come up into my X value. And I'm going to type in 
0.9375. Hit enter. Zoom out, and we can see that it put in our spline. And then one last time, we need to come in, go to our calculator, and add 5.4375. And that equals 15.375. I'm back to my InDesign file, and again, one last time, click in the left-hand ruler and drag it out, release, go up to the X value, and type in 15.375, hit enter. So now we have the guides for our book, and what I usually do to double check my work is I'll take a rectangle tool, and I will pull, you know, align it to the edge of the paper to the first guide and grab it. And then I'm going to take it and move it over to the right hand side over here. It matches. So I know those are accurate. I'm going to do the same thing for the covers. Pull this back over here. And so those are all equal. So I know that everything is correct. There's one other thing I want to do for this video, and then we come back to our pages and we double click on page one. All these guides are locked uh, because they're on our master page. Now, if we go back to our book that we took our measurements from, and this time take our dust jacket off, so when we look at this book jacket, if you can, if you notice, if I maybe if I turn it around this way which is a little odd for me because now it's upside down. But if we look at it, you'll notice that the front cover is on your far right side and the back cover is on the left hand side. So this is important to remember when we jump back into our InDesign file because the file is from left to right. So we actually do our inside back flap on the far left hand side, then our back cover, then the spine, then the front cover, and then the front inside flap. And I'll show you how to keep that straight here uh, in just a second. So back in our InDesign file, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our layers, and we're going to create a new layer. And again, if you don't have the layers open, you go to Window, come down, and you select Layers, and it will open up the Layers panel. And I'm actually going to pull layer two down, and I'm just going to call it visual reminder, maybe. I'm horrible at naming layers. And I don't want to print the layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my type tool, which is T on the keyboard or the T in the toolbar. And I'm on this visual reminder layer. I'm going to take that. That's going to say front. Back. And if you need to remind yourself of where the spine is and stuff like that, you can, you can certainly put those in. I'm going to take both of these and just very quickly lower the tint of them down to something like 20%. And then I'm going to go back to my layers and I'm going to lock that layer. And the reason we created a new layer is because I can turn that layer on and off and I can also design on layer one. And if you're a type of designer that likes to work on layers, you can add new layers above layer one, so forth and so on. So that's the basic video on how to set up your InDesign file for your book cover. I'm going to come back in another video and explain to you uh, what the bleeds are for, how to choose colors, uh, various ways to get colors uh, into your InDesign file, and uh, just little uh, tricks, other little tricks with the trade that may help you on this project. So thank you for your time and look for the next video.